Okay, so um, the orientation of the bed needs to be in the regular orientation with the base to the head. But the one thing we do different is we take this, this head piece that's right here. See this little piece comes off. It's usually up there. So we take it off and we put it down here. That shifts the orientation of the patient down just a little bit. And you'll see, you can't really tell now, but on this pad where that's supporting most of the patient, there's like a little cutout. And we want the patient's bottom like right at the edge of that cutout. So this kind of gets them close to that position um, by, by shifting the bed, the length of it that way. All right. What else do I need to say? That's it, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple different positioning devices that you can use. Um, there is, oh yeah, she's got it. <laughs> the candy cane. And the candy cane, um, we only have one of them, but we'll show you how it works. I can figure out how this works. Couple things with these um, <laughs> stirrups. You want to make sure that they're hooked to this part of the bed that's supporting the patient's torso, not this bottom part, because this bottom part's going to go all the way down. And so if you put those stirrups here, it's going to be like putting their legs down, right? So um, candy canes typically more for uh, GYN. It gives a more extreme like lithotomy position where the ones we're actually gonna use because our patient doesn't have much rotation or flexibility. Um, but we'll show you how the candy cane goes on. Um, these little attachments here, um, just hooked to the rail of the bed. There's different types. And as um, Mrs. G was saying yesterday, which is a fantastic point, is not all of these are universal, right? So there may be different ones, square peg, round hole kind of thing. So you just wanna make sure you have the right ones. Here, we try to put them back on and attach them to whatever piece they go to so that when we get it out the next time, they're there. And so facilities to try to do that too, but it seems like things get lazier. Someone's coming in the middle of the night. Um, a good way to line it up, shoulder to iliac crest, kind of look at that diagonal line. That should get you pretty close to where you want to put that holder. Okay, you go. Okay. So, um, what they'll usually do is like put one on the side where they're not bringing the bed in and then they'll just drop it down low like this so that it's not like look like a torture chamber when the patient comes in right it's kind of out <laughs> of sight and then once the patient is asleep they'll bring it up they're gonna tighten it down here and this has all kinds of ways we can move it adjust it to the patient's unique needs right and then this one here can be adjusted as well right as high as we need sometimes we have to <laughs> adjust the height of it so that the leg or the knee isn't resting on this middle part okay so um, they'll put both of these on and then a little disposable stirrup it looks like a little sling for the foot paper and so it has like two little rings that will hook into here but one like supports the bottom of the foot and then one goes around the ankle here. And then once they get those on simultaneously, legs will go up and into the stirrups, all right? This is more like knees near the ears kind of positioning. Um, the Allen stirrups or the fins that we have there are more like a low lithotomy for cysto, but because our patient isn't very flexible, we're gonna use those. Did I miss anything? No. <laughs> Questions about this candy cane? Besides, it's not edible. <laughs> okay. Oh, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Let's take this off. I don't want to give it back. We moved the strap up to the belly. You know, usually it's like right here, but we moved it up high. Um, and then one of the other things. Uh, to think about is sometimes during these cases they tuck the arms at the side the most common crushing injury happens during these types of cases if they do tuck the arms because when this bed comes back up if the fingers happen to be in this little break right here mm -hmm. they can get squished all right so check the fingers mm -hmm. okay watch the fingers mm -hmm. all right so this guy can move in all different directions if you loosen this this you know you can manipulate it we're gonna put it in here 
close to it, close to the patient because, like I said, he's um. Okay, so we are going to at the same time lift the legs and put them into the stirrups. One, a two, a two. Wishbone. And this guy doesn't really move. So. <laughs> it's going to be tight quarters. Hope Dr. G can handle it. After our shoulders. I know she can't. I might have to go in there sideways. <laughs> <laughs> Sit side saddle. Yeah. Right. You want to make sure if you're helping position um, in these things that the heel is all the way back against the support and the calf is all the way supported as well. There's not like a big gaposis. And then you can just slow this down. All right, and then we would take off the end of the bed and then we're gonna lower the feet. All right, ready, ladies? Um, there's a lot of buttons on that one. I know I'm all, uh, <laughs> tell me when. All right, questions? 